A local group is helping San Diego youth get a second chance and learn to be self-sufficient. KUSI's Casey McKinnon is in Encanto getting a look at how the program is helping our youth. Hey, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, good morning. Yes, well, there are many programs with Second Chance that helps our underserved youth here in our community. One of the programs that's been around for 10 years, officially kicked off yesterday, it's an eight-week program. It's a gardening program, and there's no kids out here right now just because they're all in school. However, it's a really great program that showcases the hard work Second Chance does to really give the people involved a second chance in life. So I have Daria Van Nice. Tell us more about the Second Chance program and what you guys do to better someone's life. Sure, so the program's been here for over 10 years and what the Second Chance Youth Garden program is, is an eight week program uh, helping kids age 14 to 21, I guess not just kids, yeah. young people, um, develop the skills needed, job development skills, hard and soft skills needed to get a job in the community while uh, being in the garden. So it's through the lens of urban agriculture. So what are some of the things that you are teaching the youth here or sure. young adults in yeah. this program? So the young adults, it's a multi-layered program and what that means is that they get um, education on food justice, nutrition, cooking, urban agriculture, job skills, and they all leave with a resume. So why is this important? Well, it's important specifically in this community of Encanto because we are more in a food apartheid or a food desert, and so the youth gets they get to be stewards of change in their own community. Um, they get to produce the produce that they give back to their community while developing job development skills. So it's like a ripple effect out into the community and into their own families. What are some of the fruits and vegetables that they are going to be growing in this program? Yeah, so it's very exciting because uh, the youth get to learn about the fruits and vegetables. We also have another garden at City Heights called the Peace Garden that has a lot of fruit trees and currently Currently, we were able to pick bananas, as you can see here, um, a lot of apples. We even had a little pumpkin patch for the holidays. And in front of you, you can see an abundance of zucchini, collards, Swiss chard, carrots. And then in our last segment, you mentioned the farm stand, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so uh, part of the job development skills that the youth get to engage in is the Thursday farm stand, which is from 3 to 5 p.m. And they harvest and um, gather all the vegetables that they sell to the community, and all those proceeds go towards the youth cohort. So all right. proceeds help uh, build the program and give back to the community. All right, well, what's the website where people can go to find more information and maybe get involved as well? Sure. So you can donate or learn more information at secondchanceprogram.org. Daria, thanks so much. Appreciate your time. We are at Second Chance in Encanto this morning talking all about the programs and this one specifically. So I'll send things back to you. We'll have more coming up. All right, Casey. Sounds good, Casey. Thank you. Without